Okay, Cancer, how y'all doing? Hope all is well with you. Okay, now then, I'm going to do your spiritual conversation here today while we still got daylight. Hmm? All right, thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. Thank you for your love mm. and support. Thank you. This about to be good. My feet tingling. It's a good tangle. Any information that you need is in the description box. Okay, council getting to their business. Handling business. Making things happen in their life. I really like it, council. I think I'm gonna be a council today. Let's see here. One more time, one more time, y'all, one more time. All right. Let's read it. Hmm? This is a nice ebb and flow, Council. I hope y'all can hear me because this mic placement these days. Move forward. There should be a... Um, wherever you have been uneasy or felt as though... Um, you may have had to do more than allowed. More than you were you felt you were capable of. I think that things are going to move out, move, move out. Maybe y'all are. Um, it's gonna even out, right? It's gonna be a nice ebb and flow, what they say. Um, there's something along the lines of, uh, steady work, steady involvement, steady evolvement. I feel like it's something steady, like things are evening out for you. I think that's the overview for this. Hmm? This is weighted. This is what holds the most weight in this in, in these cards, right? So I feel like there's going to be, uh, you're going to move into this period of manifestation, this period of, um, you may have three opportunities, strong opportunity periods coming up within the next three to four weeks. Um, could be longer, could be shorter. It may be a number of things, but I think that there are three major changes that are happening in your life, three major events that are happening. And I feel like this is, this has a lot to do with, um, maybe your vision board or what you've been visualizing and waiting for something to come through. And it finally comes through. It could even be around Thanksgiving or something like that. Let's, let's pull the cards, honey. Now, this could be your boss. Maybe you are being offered a new position, but I also feel like you are being the boss of your life overall. I get real strong emperor energy with this. You are taking charge and taking control of your life, your finances or what have you, but also with this man holding the coin, this could be someone who um, can offer you some type of financial advice. It may even be someone, an earth sign possibly, who um, wants to help you or is offering some type of assistance um it could be uh someone of means that you are currently dealing with and things are about to uh, the score is about to be even between you and this person see heart right on the side of it oh this may be someone who is a resident soul um if it's not a person it's you and how you feel about the things that you are doing um when it comes to your finances right uh, someone has a decision to make between two to three people. Y'all, the second sign that got the, it's the community card. <laughs> but in this house, somebody throwing a party. Someone is throwing a party that needs to make a decision. They don't know who they want, what they want, how they want. That's the one way we're looking at this because this is crossing that man. And the deci indecision card. Trying to figure it out. Do I choose one of the people that I'm with in this party? Or do I move forward? Now, someone may be healing and they may ask for your understanding. Let's get out of this real quick because we're going to go into it in a second. But um, there may be some, there's someone here who, even with this stabil, a stabilizing four, a stabilizing four, grounded. Um, this person could also be um very like a stickler very particular about what they do and how they do things here but someone is asking for your understanding in order for you to um listen hear them out 
um, you may want to detach from yourself and see their point of view, even if, you know, this is something to do with this third party situation. But let's slow down first. Why y'all rushing me? Now, what is this man talking about? They want you to go ahead and work on your heart chakra. Go ahead and work on hearing from that space. But, you know, you also use your intuition and your, use your common sense. Calm down. Clarify, honey. Yeah. Someone may be explaining to you why they took some time away or they haven't been in touch. I feel that um, this there is something that you will be learning from this situation. So it's going to be on you how you rise to the occasion. I also feel that um, when it comes to whatever it is that you've been waiting for or wanting to do, it's time for you to look at things from a different perspective with that hangman. Um, do some self-reflecting as well. Go up in the attic. We're going to feed you. Just go up there. We'll be up there. It's time for you to look at things from a different perspective because what you thought may not be what it really was, whatever that means to you. I also feel that... Um, there may this may be an energy of this being a new situation with you and something needs to be revealed over time um also with that with this sacral chakra energy they want you to hold strong and firmly to whatever it is that you have started allow it to come to um allow yourself to be a student in the process no matter how fired up you are about it now you are realizing how to use that um new creative energy now you are realizing what needs to heal on um, a soul level emotionally um now you are seeing things from a, a different perspective so now you will be in a space where you'll know uh, moving forward how to um Trust your gut more, if that makes sense. Trust your gut. You ate that bad food. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Now, what this page of uh, what this what this man saying right here? Someone is coming in saying that they want a commitment, and you may be kind of like, I don't know if I want to do that. Someone is going to make you very happy with whatever it is that they message you or communicate to you, but I feel as though this may be a new situation for you, so it's going to be important that you, um, a new way of communicating, a um, very passionate idea that may grow into something else, but you want to take your time. But overall, with this Ten of Cups, because y'all got Ten of Cups, that's commitment, that's joy, that's bliss, that's a cel celebration. Um, if you have a, a young fire sign child, uh, they may be coming to move with you or have some type of good news or things are being settled when it comes to that child. That's what they said. Something has been draining your finances. So let's see what this is. You may have, you may feel like you've done enough or someone may be begging you because now they well done ran dry. That's what it is. Let's go back. Take what you need and leave out the rest. That startled me. Uh, someone is feeling as though their finances are being depleted and you may not know about it. Someone is giving more to a family situation than they are telling you. I also feel that this may be your energy. Um, maybe the tables have turned in a commitment. Maybe uh, someone isn't giving their time the way that they used to because of this third party as well. But what I'm really getting here is that um, there may have been some ghosting. There may have been some type of... Um, If there was a plumbing issue. Let's pull it back. If somebody got a plumbing issue, <laughs> erectile dysfunction. <laughs> then the erectile dysfunction ain't funny, but the fact that I went from plumbing to dick, that's what made me laugh. Now, but I do see where someone um, didn't know what they had until they well ran dry. Now they're trying to pick up the pieces and make something happen. So out of this third-party situation, someone will be making a decision to move forward and go with something that they want and not what they don't want. There are some financial constraints that some of you will need to take into consideration. Again, that five of coin and this financial constraints. Here, um, I feel as though there may be a number of people needing your help or needing finances or borrowing money here. Um, there may be an overdraft that is really going to come off because it's, it's like um if you hadn't if that payment hadn't gone through even though it overdrafted your account but the payment still went through because some of you may have overdraft protection that payment went through <clears throat> and it saved you like 
if your lights, you had your lights set on auto pay. And they took the payment out and you didn't really have it like that. But they did it at the right time because you were throwing a party so that you could make the money back. It's probably a kickback. Moving forward. That's, the, that's how I'm going to look at that for you. Now. So it happened, but you ain't tripping on it because crossing that is blossoming abundance. The coin is falling. Guess why? Because you took that loss. Sometimes you got to take a loss to be a boss, baby. Now. Someone is choosing love over sex. Someone is choosing love, higher love, higher, higher love over casual encounters moving forward. Aiming high. No longer aiming low. <laughs> Quit playing. Now, the energy kicked in on Taurus video. Thank you. Now. I feel with this sun card here in the position that it is, whatever is revealed to you, whatever healing that you have done and really been working on yourself, whatever it is that um, happened in your past, you're being rewarded. Now you are seeing the truth is being illuminated, right? Something is being revealed. You are feeling good. You're very optimistic about your future. Then you come to this space where you yourself have to make a decision. And it may be something that, Again, drains your finances. There may be a decision that you make that drains your finances. There may be a decision that is going to require more finances, so you have to do more work. But you got this because you walk into the door of romance. And it's like the universe is answering the romantic stirrings of your heart. What is it that you are um, visualizing and fantasizing? These things are going to be bestowed upon you because right after that, you got the Blossoming Abundance card. Um, there's a flow of energy, a flow of emotion, beautiful feelings, beautiful, um, a lot of the things that will, okay, um, a lot of the things that will be revealed to you will be beyond your wildest dreams. It, it feels like you get an epiphany of, like, you may have not had any type of clarity in the past, and then you get this epiphany about where you are and where you, where you can go, and, it, and, and it's like they are laying out the signs and symbols and you are seeing this for what it is no matter how much you think that you can't get to it they're already showing you that it's done you just gotta work hold on with that eight of staffs <clears throat> i also feel that um a lot of the things that you have put out are coming back to you in order for you to put more out financial constraints fighting over money petty arguments over money being pulled in different directions and, and feeling as though you got to get your foot and you got to get your ground. And when it comes to um, money, raise your frequency, raise your work on your money vibration, your manifestations, you know, don't forget yourself. You know what I mean? Now, um, also, uh, you could be confused on what direction to go. You may be pulled in two different directions at one time. What do you give your energy to? What do you pay on? What do you give your money to? Who do you give your money to? Who do you ask for help? Who do you help, right? Clarify this five of wands. Your finances are being healed. I also feel that with this star card again, you may be seeing things a certain way. See, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it, y'all. You may be seeing things a certain way and how to do certain things, and you're just unsure. You're pouring out all of this emotion and all of your um, energy into what is possible instead of going into what is impossible because with this this clarifying this five of wands and this um uh this five of, five of wands and this financial constraint i feel that the way that you look at money is going to change or the way that you look at material things is going to change it can even be that some of y'all are gonna stop eating eggs okay um, uh, this lady told me that her grandmother's 83 and eat two eggs a day. I'm like, don't, but I thought eggs get, she was like, mm -mm. move forward. I don't know what they got to do with nothing. Now, feeling like it's unattainable, but still going into this space of knowing, believing in the impossible and knowing that whatever happens, it, you are here for, you are ready for it. I really feel pouring your emotion into that and not even giving up your, your fears, giving up. Um, letting go of um, situations, nouns that no longer serve you so that you can elevate and you're going to do it. It's right here. So now let's go into this messy part. We're going to do the messy part last. And this, now it's last. Because this this tricky. This tricky. Somebody probably tricky. Moonfall. 
What? Can I ask the question? An offer for a commitment, an offer to balance a relationship coming in from an earth sign or um, you are seen as the queen of pentacles and someone wants to uh, partner up with you. And this is going to be something very empower empowering for your legacy, building an empire, working together to make shit happen, right? Someone may be offering commitment. Giving a gift that is going to uh, really move forward. They may even owe you. So someone is coming in. Someone is coming in making an offer and you don't know if you want to take it or not. Because what they are offering you, you really have it. You already have your dreams realized. So you already have it. So you're unsure. Um, somebody dealing with a belly dance. Now I ain't never looked at her like this. See, you see people all the time get to looking at them different. Maybe she a belly dancer. Maybe she a stripper. A high paid stripper. Let me see here. Somebody is committing to their family. Making a commitment to their family. May even be giving some hush money to this person as well. <sighs> Let me see here. What is this decision? And, and what's, what's going on with this? Because you have a decision and someone else has a decision. Blocking someone, making a decision to block and protect yourself, making a decision to set boundaries, making a, a decision to uh, cut off communication or cut off um, a soul tie, cut off, um, cut off a soul tie, cut off communication, cut, create boundaries and be on guard on the regular. There it is, cleansing somebody out. Hold on, let's see. Standing in your truth, standing in your power, you will be victorious, you will be triumphant, you will get the pick of the little. Maybe you are the pick of the little. Maybe they choose you out of these people. Hold on. I also feel that some of you may even be going to um, having some type of group counseling or um, finally finding your spirit team. Many of you may even realize that your ancestors are, uh, do something that helps you to realize that you have um, more connections to certain places than you, and, and there was a reason for it. Um, you may have all of a sudden began seeing certain artifacts, those signs and symbols. You may begin to dress different or see things differently as part of your lineage, and you find out. No longer under the illusion or under the guise of who you thought you were, you are no longer there. Some of you are walking away. They're out of this third party situation. Someone is walking away from this third party. What is this Six of uh, Cups? Seeing things for what they are. They say, y'all yeah, know, so I ain't got to tell you. Any truth that needs to be revealed will be revealed, right? Anything that you need to see or any clarity that is coming through, it's going to come through. Some of you may even be consulting with a reader and deciding to um, walk away from a certain situation. Baby, these cuticles. <laughs> now, consult them with someone. Look, before you walk away or after, you're going to try to make sure that you made the right decision. What did, blah, 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 blah. Or it could be the other person. It depends on how you look at it. You know your life better than me. <clears throat> Getting information and finding out that you need to walk away, you begin to walk away, but you also begin to um, question your walk-off. Look how he questioning his walk-off. Protecting your heart, protecting your prized possessions. Protecting your children. Leaving somebody on red. Leaving somebody up to whatever it is that they think that they have going on. They feel they maybe you even um look, he back there looking in the cup. But I thought I had counsel, but you thought. Or whoever is being walked away from, they gonna leave that ass. But you thought. Now, when it comes to making this decision and making things happen in this third party situation, because that's what we clarify, even though other information is coming up, I feel <clears throat> that there may be a block when it comes to how you move forward. I feel like a lot of in uh, information will come with this next full moon on what you really need to cut off and what you really need to not look back at, or that's what this person is doing. What is this, uh, Two of Swords? Going ahead and deciding to move forward and just taking it how it is. Whatever comes with it, that's you ready for it, right? With this um, Knight of Swords, this could even be some information coming through from someone close to you that maybe it may be a little painful, but you are here for it. I feel as though you, um, because if you don't make, if someone doesn't make a decision when they need to, 
the secret. Somebody coming in with the truth. Someone is coming in with such a powerful truth that it may be alarming. This could also be a reveal of information about a commitment, a reveal of information <clears throat> about, like, even um, with this, yeah, a reveal of some information about a commitment. Someone is in a relationship and the other person doesn't know. It's going to be heartbreaking. It's going to be shocking. It's going to be um, painful. I'm also seeing here where... Um, it's time for you to face your soulmate, time for you to, it's like someone is facing their um, partner or someone that they are committed to during some type of celebratory um, event or a celebration of something, right? Or maybe you just been celebrating and then you get this truth that comes in, right? Um, like you've already had truths revealed to you and this is just it. This is the final straw. This is the last thing that, you know, whichever way. Now, if it when it, if it if it's not you, it's this person seeing that you are letting them know that look, I'm not about to play your game with you. I'm not about to do this with you. I know the truth. I'm not about to do it. I'm not about to go through it. I'm not about to screw it. Wait. One last card because I'm finna go. Standing in your truth. Now, you could be dealing with this air sign, or this could be you um, coming off as calculated. This could be you. Like, I've seen it all. I've done it all. And then it's time for me to move forward. I have seen enough, right? You have went from um, a princess to a queen. This has really had you to level up in your, the, your way of thinking. You are not in the space of um, feeling as though you are a victim or what have you. Because I really feel like whatever happens here, you are ready for it. Um, you ain't doing no arguing and fighting But someone is trying to start an argument or a fight uh, Someone may even be coming in and trying to It could be an earth sign But overall it's someone who um, Whatever this is Someone is um, really battling themselves And they're and they battling themselves And it's coming out as They are trying to start shit with everybody But they got an issue Whoever it is I don't know if it goes with this third party situation But it's something in there that's it. Now that blossom in abundance is yours if you want the corn to fall, chicken little. It's yours. Enjoy. It's an ebb and flow of everything. Things come in full circle. Some of you will be a, begin to assess your circle. You will begin to assess um, who's an asset and who's a liability. Um, I feel like a, you're going to begin to have a lot of... Um, premonitions when it comes to the people that you are involved with you may even be moving into that um space of um joining a group or just being in a group setting and sitting back and being more observant right and you begin to speak your truth or someone speaks their truth and then there's a huge revelation within that so it's going to be on you which way you take that and how you take it just breathe through it bye okay y'all made it this far mm -hmm. whatever i want a pompa though I said on Instagram the other day, I want that Aaliyah pompadour. I put my hair up like this a second ago. I want a pompadour. This is the closest thing I can get to it till I find me a beautician. I want a pompadour. I said I'd be one in a million, one in a million, more than a woman. Shit. That's the video that she had, the dopest pompadour i ever seen in my life. Aaliyah. Rest in peace, baby girl. Hmm? All right, I'm finna go because it's getting hectic around here. Hmm? Hmm.